25 years later, I come to these cons and find out what this, uh, what this animated series meant to so many people, and I'm flabbergasted. What's up guys, the News 19 Nerds? We have a very special guest for you. Um, you should know this face, but you definitely know the voice. Mr. Glover. How you doing today, man? I'm good. I'm good. One of the coolest things about you is you've been doing this for a lot of years, and you have a lot of iconic roles. What's the one that stands out to you? Well, the longest was uh, uh, Lionel Luther on, uh, on Smallville. So I guess that, I mean, I did that for seven years of my life. So that was, you know, pretty much the major one. The others were, you know, shorter commitments, so they don't, I don't have a memory of some of them. <laughs> so... One of the coolest things is, you've always had long hair. Is that your hair? Yes. <laughs> I don't wear wigs. <laughs> when, when, you did, um, when you did Shazam, one of the things I noticed about it was you were very intense for that short period of time on camera. Is that something you bring normally, or was it just comes out? How does, how does that happen when you, in the beginning of the movie, you were just... Ugh. Well, you know, I only was, it was given those two scenes that I was in. To, so I had no idea ooh, really who I was with relationship to other people in the, in the film or where I was going to be in the, in the story. So I just tried to give the director what he wanted, and which was a, a high intensity uh, hatred. I call, it, I call my role <laughs> the father from hell. I mean, he's one of the worst fathers I've ever seen, and I portrayed him. I mean, it's a horrid father, but that's what the director wanted, so I tried to give it to him. I'm not trying to be rude, but you were a very good bad dad. Thank you. <laughs> that means a lot to me. Thank you. One of the coolest things I think a lot of people realize is that you're the Riddler from Batman the Animated Adventures. Right. Did you realize that this character was kind of going to be the... That's the test of time that no, people... No, no, not at all. This, uh, they, they recorded this, uh, this series um, about a couple of blocks from where I lived. So I got offered. I didn't go audition for it. I had done a, a, a couple of uh, Animaniacs and Pinky and the Brain voice things for Andrea Romano, who directed the uh, uh, Batman animated series. She called me and said, would you do the Riddler? So I walked over. Um, was given the script, had two hours of fun with a bunch of great actors, went home, they asked me twice more to do them. I, I never watched, it was a Saturday cartoon. I was, I, I was a grown up, I didn't watch Saturday cartoons. And 25 years later, I come to these cons and find out what this, uh, what this animated series meant to so many people, and I'm flabbergasted. I had no idea. I feel honored to be a part of it. I'm not really a voice actor. I mean, I, I use all of me. So I'm not skilled like a real voice actor is. I, I, it was like potluck, I guess. I would disagree on the skill part because you did a very <laughs> good job. And it was, so, it was so interesting when I realized that you were the Riddler. And I was like, wait a minute, I know that guy. And then you're on Smallville. Right. Two, like These are two roles that people, when they, they see you, they know you. What was it like to be on Smallville? Well, it was terrific. I mean, it was a great part, and the, and the writers were kind of following impulses that I felt, trying to make uh, um, Lionel a real human being instead of just a villainous father. I mean, there were several people who, who would stop me on the street and ask me the same question when we get later into the series. They said, well, I can't figure this out. Are you supposed to be a good guy or a bad guy? Because I was... You were both. Yeah. Well, I was human, you know? That's, that's, that's a good way to look at it. I didn't yeah. think about that. Well, that's uh, how I tried to see it. Yeah. Now, it's funny you mention that. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? Right. You're in a new show. It's called Evil. Yeah. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? I'm a man who's in trouble, <laughs> who's, who's had some troubles. And, and uh, this, this series, I think, is going to be really something. You know, it's, it's done by the, uh, it's called Evil. It's done by the people that did The Good Wife and then The Good Fight, the kings, who are, who are legendary, you know, wonderful writers, great producers. Uh, so I worked for them. I did four episodes of The Good Wife and one of The Good Fight. So they offered me this role of a, of a kind of a harried Broadway producer who, who may have been 
seduced by the devil. It's about exorcism. I mean, we're getting spiritual now. They've gone from a courtroom trial to this. I mean, I can't wait to see it. I'm in episode three. And just by chance, I mean, I, I saw somebody had an evil button on, which is why I found your CBS station. So, I mean, I shoot, uh, my, the, my pickup tomorrow is at 6 a.m. in New York, so <laughs> I got to get home. That's awesome. I don't get back till midnight. Wow. But But I finished the, the episode that I did tomorrow morning. Okay, that's yeah, yeah. cool. So what was it like when you got the call that you were going to be in this show? Were you like... I need to read up on evil, or I need to, like, what was, like, how do you approach these kind of roles? Well, first I read, well, first I thought, oh, it's the Kings, so that means it's going to be good. Um, I read the script. It was a very kind of, uh, a really interesting role, very challenging, and I wanted to conquer it, so I went, yes, okay, I'll do that, because um, I like to work. And then I came here to South Carolina on Friday. Um, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm at a certain age where most of the people I grew up with have retired now, mm -hmm. so I'm still going strong. I just had a, a major a birthday uh, last uh, on Wednesday. Really? Happy yeah. birthday! Thank you. Thank one you very the, much. One of the things I've noticed is like whenever you come on screen, you bring this presence. It's almost like this energy. Yeah. Where does that come from? Because whenever you come on screen, I've always noticed whether you, again, I mentioned the long, because I've always known you with the long hair. Uh -huh. All your roles, you just come in and you bring this presence. Where does that come from? Uh-oh, no, I've cut my hair. It's I, like I'm wondering, is Samson, it, does you know? it come from the hair? We'll see. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I can't be sure. I have no idea. I mean, I do my work. I figure out who the guy is or what what's his problems or what's his, and I just go to it. So... I don't know how to answer the why. It's I, magic. It, it <laughs> really is, because I remember when you talk about Smallville, and every time you walked on screen, wh whether you were good or bad, you kind of oozed this charisma. And I was like... Well, I like the way you think. I hated you, great. but I loved you at the same time. <laughs> oh, that's my man. And it was awesome. Okay. And so I, I wonder, like, when it, when it comes to acting... What has kept you doing this for so long? Because you've been doing this for a long time. I know. And you're still good. So you never phone it in. Where does that come from? Well, I went through a period of phoning in. Right when I was first out in L.A., I, got, I, got, I sold my soul for money, I think, for a while. And, and, uh, and my, my work suffered for it. And, I, and it was like I, I didn't enjoy doing it anymore. But I found a brilliant teacher who I knew I needed help, and I found a teacher. <laughs> I'm leaving in 20 minutes. They're just telling me. They are. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, then I found my way back to my art. So I, I love, uh, I, people interest me. I mean, I'm in the people business. So it's one of these, one of the things why the cons are so much fun too, because I, I meet all kinds of people and they kind of er, tell me what, what I'm lacking. They give me courage. They... I feel like Sally Field. You like me. You really like me. <laughs> yeah, it's well, nice. I, I got to say, thank you for all that you've done. You've sure. provided us with so many characters. Um, Adam, get a shot at us, because you've been on so many different shows, movies. I've been around forever. Do, that right there. <laughs> Right there, Smallville is where, for me yeah. and the Riddler, and for the fans out there, we just got to say thank you. Okay. We really appreciate it. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Guys, we got to talk to John Glover. This was awesome. You made my day. We're out. News 19 Nerds. <laughs>